Alright everybody, this is going to be a video on how to install Adobe Flash Player on your Samsung Admire. As you can see, I have it installed in mine. This is fully working too. This is, no, this is not no WAP site crap that the other guy showed you. This is the real Adobe Flash Player. As you can see, Adobe Flash Player is installed. And as proof, I'm going to show you guys how it looks online. Let's go to YouTube, the desktop YouTube. Let's watch that. I'm demonstrating on the stack Android um, web browser. This is fully working Flash Player. The Samsung Admire. All right. Now I'm going to uninstall it. All right, I uninstalled Adobe Flash Player on my Samsung Admire. I'm going to show you guys this, and it's not there anymore. And if I go to YouTube.com, it says, "Please upgrade Flash Player." I don't know if you can see that, but that's what it says. And I go to a video, and it won't play. All right, to do this, you will need to have your phone um, rooted, your Samsung and my rooted, and you will need to install Root File Manager because you will need to go into the system files and modify some things and stuff and install it uh, to be rooted. I will post I will post a link on the bottom of this video. It'll be the first link. On how to do it, I don't have a video on how to root it. Sadly, I didn't make one, but it's a simple step that you guys can do if you haven't done it already. All right, now uh, for you, for you guys that are rooted, we're gonna do this. Um, what you will need is a computer uh, and your phone and uh, with a USB cable connected to the computer, and we're gonna install first root file manager all the links I'm going to show you uh, all the links to downloads to root file manager Adobe flash and the lib file are going to be down there so right now you guys should um, download all the files if you don't have them already we're gonna we're gonna uh, download Root Explorer, Adobe Flash Player, and the lib.zip three files. I suggest you guys download all of them right now. All right, since uh, you guys downloaded it already, I'm guessing. So we're gonna go to your phone, turn on USB storage. Yes, you will not make phone calls, whatever. All right, USB in use. So now let's go to start computer and wherever your disk drive is, your removable disk drive. Um, all right, this is where we're gonna get the the files that you downloaded, the three files. Wherever you guys downloaded them at. All right, root explorer. You're gonna drag it. Just in. You're gonna drag it in the in the memory card. Just drag it in there. Okay, and the next file would be Adobe Flash Player or whatever file you guys downloaded first. 
Adobe Flash Player APK. Put it inside here. All right. We're not. We didn't open any any full file full folders or files. We just went straight up to the thing and we dragged it inside there. Alright, next one. The last file you're gonna drag inside would be the lib file, lib.zip. Lib right here. I'm gonna drag it inside. Alright, so we just drag it in there. And there we go. Now we'll close this. Go back to our phone. Uh, turn off USB storage. Alright. Alright, we're going to go to the built in file manager, which this phone has already built in, which is My Files. And if you deleted it, My Files, then you could just download Astro File Manager for free or whatever you want to get. Alright, we're going to install root. Uh, Explorer first and I already have it installed so I don't need to install it so just install it and when it's done push done next we're gonna install Adobe Flash Player 11 so install Adobe Flash Player so application is installed you can push done and it won't work right now uh, even though you installed it. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go inside Roots Explorer that you installed. Okay, we're in Root Explorer. We're going to go to the SD card. We're going to go where the lib is, the lib uh, folder right here, lib.zip. So we're going to hold it, we're going to click extract all, please wait extracting, go to extracted files, alright, the lib is right here, so what you're going to do is you're going to click hold it, you're going to click on move. You're going to go, you're going to click up here where the periods are. One time. Um, you're going to click it again. Now you're going to go to where it says data. Click on data. Now we're going to go down. Data again. Data. And we're going to go where it says com.adobe.flashplayer. Click on that. Now this lib, we're going to hold it. We're going to delete this. Are you sure you want to delete this folder? Yes. Alright, there's no folder in there. Now we're going to paste. Now we're going to go inside the lib that we just pasted. We just pasted. We're going to go to each file. Hold it until click hold it until this comes up. We're gonna go to permissions. And we're gonna check everything. Okay. The next one. Permissions. Check everything. Okay do it for all the files. Now we're going to go click on the period until you get out of here. Um, until you're back here where it says mount R W. You're going to click it until it says mount R O. So it mounted it read only. So now when you turn off your phone Flash player will still be installed and it won't go away. Alright, now we're going to go back. 
click on home now you could go on your applications and you're going to see flash player settings settings where you could change uh, flash player the settings on flash player Adobe flash player uh, okay now let's test it out let's go to YouTube to have flash player Adobe flash player installed and fully working <clears throat> this is full Adobe Flash Player. As you can see, it is loading. Let's watch a video. Random video. Uh, I'm going to use a stock browser, but I really recommend you guys using Dolphin HD browser for it. We're going to see how it plays stock browser. Now, for the quality of the videos, um, I found that running them at 240p uh, makes them run smooth. You can double double tap this to go full screen or down here where this thing is. On um, the videos, like I said, running them at um, 240p doll. Any higher than that would be like unplayable almost. But you guys can play around with it. As you can see, you could go out of full screen, zoom out, zoom in. You can scroll where the comments are. Mm -hmm. Change the volume. So it works in portrait mode. All right. So five players installed. Let's go to miniclip.com to see if you could play uh, flash games on this. miniclip.com took us to the mobile site uh, let's see let's test out a game I lost. Alright, you can see a uh, mini clip works on it. You guys can try the desktop site. As you can see, it doesn't hinder performance at all on the phone. Everything runs smooth. It isn't like other Flash Player that install it and that makes your phone all laggy and unbootable, un um, that you won't be able to use it well. As you can see, it's um, very responsive still. So comment uh, show people this video on how to install Flash Player, and hopefully you enjoy Flash on your Samsung and Meyer. Oh, and last thing, um, I really recommend you overclocking your uh, CPU to the maximum. Set it to 800, 800 with set CPU or anything else that you want. Um, that way, when you're running Flash content, it won't lag or anything. Alright, so that's how you install Flash Player on the Samsung Admire.